Uh, Chris Chinock here for Display Central at uh, Display Week 2014. I'm in the 3M booth where they're showing uh, uh, some uh, things focused on, on Quantum Dots, their QDEF film. Uh, first of all, in back of me here is a new uh, laptop that's been released uh, by Asus. This was announced at uh, Computex uh, in Taiwan earlier this week. Uh, this is going to be uh, the first notebook with the QDEF uh, film. Uh, it's a 4K uh, display, actually a UHD display. Uh, that will refresh at uh, at 60 frames. Uh, I actually checked that by looking in the uh, in the parameters of the uh, of the uh, of the machine. Uh, it has an NVIDIA processor as well as a built-in uh, Intel uh, graphics card. It's uh, uh, an 850 uh, model, and the uh, the name of the product is the ZenBook uh, NX500. And as far as the color gamut goes, 100% uh, of NTSC. Uh, there is HDMI. There's Mini DisplayPort. Uh, but they don't know the versions of that. Uh, Pre-order will be uh, in August uh, with delivery in September, pricing somewhere around uh, $3,000 or, or so US. Uh, in the back uh, of this is a 65-inch uh, TV, uh, also with the, uh, uh, the, uh, the quantum dot film uh, on top of it. Uh, that one is actually uh, probably the highest color gamut that's been shown to date, 85% uh, of the 2020 uh, Rec 2020 uh, color gamut, so I think that's that's probably the highest that's been available. Uh, so uh, you, the, the the reds really certainly the reds really pop on this. Um, so that's uh, pretty much the story from uh, 3M. Oh, actually, one more thing they they're also showing their uh, their their perceptual quanti uh, quanti what is it perceptual display quality score. Thank you, uh, which is uh, their version of trying to put a single. Uh, a single number onto the perceived quality uh, of a display. Um, uh, currently, that in, um, uh, currently that includes things like uh, the luminance, the resolution, the color, the black level, um, and the uh, size and the type of the display, uh, which is a good start. Um, and the t with the top of that scale being about 50 for the best display you could possibly see right now. Um, but they are looking at adding uh, some additional parameters to that. Um, for example, things like the artifacts that you might see um, and defects, the, di the display materials like mass or uh, matte or gloss uh, finish. Um, you're also uh, going to have to start to address things like, uh, like motion, uh, and frame rates um, and uh, and di uh, and contrast, of course, including things like dynamic contrast. So this whole this whole business of of perceived display quality versus the specifications of the display uh, is um, uh, an evolving area. It's going to require a lot of standards development, a lot of uh, vision science as well. So this is a topic we'll be talking about uh, a lot more uh, going forward. So uh, Chris Chinock for Display Central.